So who looked at the previous team of the week and thought this is the five star skill at Elton? Let me know in the comment section below because I was tricked. As soon as I saw Elton, I thought it was a five star skill in the Saudi Arabian League and then it turns out to be this guy. I was so disappointed. But then I thought, let's try this guy out because some silvers are pretty much hidden gems. So is this guy worth your money? That's what we're going to find out. If you guys are looking for a cheap, reliable place to get your coin, check out battle.com. Their link will be in the description. Use the code ETONY to get 5% off. And also, let me know from the the new team of the week it looks fucking insane who do you want me to review from the new team of the week first let me know the two plays you want me to review first and let's begin this guy feels quicker than his pace card stats to be honest with you the face card stats it says he has like 59 pace or maybe 52 pace actually and he is not that slow trust me on this one he is not that slow i think when you're running with him he feels more like 60 65 pace to be honest with you guys this guy is six foot one surprisingly has really good heading way better than some goal players that has better heading stats than this guy. This guy has called me a couple of nice headers and in certain positions where he has medium and medium work rates, he was making runs. He has good positioning, I guess. He has 75 attack positioning, which is really, really good. Now, he does have medium and medium work rates, so he isn't always in the perfect position, but for most of the time, he seemed to be making runs and always in the penalty area when I needed him and every time I wanted to cross it, this guy was always there. He never really disappointed me when it came down to positioning. Only um, on rare occasions, I guess. Overall, this guy is actually a pretty good striker, and I thought I was surprised by that because I just didn't expect much from him with that pace. <laughs> I mean, 52 pace, when you look at a striker that has 52 pace, you're going to be like, this guy is basically going to be useless. But trust me on this, he actually felt quite strong as well with 83 strength and I think 73 aggression. Somewhere in the 70s is aggression, and it really helps him out. You will see a clip where two free defenders are on him, and this guy still manages to get the ball into the back of the net but thanks to his 91 finishing that makes it all possible in the penalty area this guy is a clinical finisher not only an aerial threat but on the ground as well and also outside the penalty area this guy is actually pretty damn good he's called me a nice long shot so you will be definitely able to score long shots here i think he has like 88 shot power and like 73 long shots but his long shot seems way better than that so a lot of this guy's stats can be debatable when you're trying him out on the pitch but he is not perfect. He has a 3-star weak foot and 3-star skills and his dribbling and agility sucks ass. So, what you're going to be hoping for if you're amazing at dribbling, you're going to have to try and time when you're going to turn because you have to turn with this guy 3-4 seconds before the defender fucking gets to you because that's how long it takes to turn with this guy. He is very, very hard to dribble with and numerous on numerous occasions you're going to find yourself being annoyed because sometimes it's a goal scoring opportunity if you could dribble that past that last defender and you start, most of the time can't with this guy. You're going to have to power yourself through onto the penalty area and score it. So, now I did say at the start of this video he feels quicker than his pace card stats but even though he does he is still pretty slow for a striker but if you could live all the, with all those disadvantages I definitely recommend this guy. I'm keeping mine so if you buy yours and you're happy with it definitely keep him because he's probably one of the best players or the best strikers in that Saudi Arabian league and also we're going to have a new Saudi Arabian uh, review later on this week after I get the big boys out of the way so remember the name Nasr Al Shamrani anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did I'd really appreciate a like and let me know who you want me to review from this team of the week and I hope you guys have a very nice day